Hi, it's Lee from the Japanese Water Gardens. In this video, I'm going to show you a mineral that can be added to your pond or filter. It can help maintain good water quality and can be recharged many times. It is useful in a variety of situations, such as when you are establishing a new pond where the filter hasn't had chance to develop a healthy biomass, or when adding new fish to an existing pond. This is zeolite, a mineral that can chemically absorb pollutants such as ammonia, a toxic chemical that is excreted by the fish. It is not expensive and can help prevent a damaging ammonia spike. I would recommend 10 litres of zeolite for every 1000 gallons of pond water. Don't worry, you cannot use too much. Zeolite is totally harmless to the fish. To use the zeolite, remove it from its packaging and give it a good rinse to remove any dust. The zeolite should then be transferred into a nylon meshed bag. The bag will keep the zeolite together and allow a good flow of water through it. Don't overfill the bag as the zeolite is quite heavy and could split the bag. Tie the bag up. The bag can then be transferred into your filter system or simply placed directly into your pond should no suitable space be available. The zeolite should be left for several weeks to soak up the ammonia. To recharge the zeolite, you need a tub or large bucket. You will also need salt. A 25 kg bag of salt will cost around £10 and will be enough to recharge the zeolite many, many times. Fill the bucket with water, then add salt. Dissolve the salt into the water and keep adding more salt until the salt will not dissolve anymore and you get a deposit of salt forming on the bottom. Place the zeolite into the salt solution and let it soak for at least 24 hours. The ammonia stored in the zeolite will leach out into the water. Give the bag of zeolite a good rinse. The salt water can be used to suppress weeds. The zeolite is ready to be returned back to your pond. Zeolite should be removed from your pond when treating your fish with anti-parasite or bacterial treatments. And zeolite should not be used when you have salted your pond. I hope that you found this video of interest and will subscribe to the channel, post some comments, give the video a thumbs up. It's bye for now from Lee at the Japanese Water Gardens.